Well, good morning, South Africa. Um, it is day two of our week of blessing. All right, I want you to know that this is going to be an amazing week as believers to start standing together, getting ready to go and make a difference. All right, it is Tuesday uh, morning, uh, the 27th of October, and we are going to get right into blessing our nation. But I'm going to teach a little bit because as we go day for day, I'm going to teach you a principle and then we're going to apply it for that day. All right, we're going to keep on applying these principles because we are going to release the blessing of the Lord over this nation. We are not going to allow any demonic assignment, agenda, focus to take hold over this nation, particularly in this week. There are so many things that are just merging and coming together and too many agendas are coming from the evil side. And we are going to just turn that thing around right now in Jesus name by the power of God and by the word of God and by the principles that God has laid out in his word for us to do. So let's get right into it. James chapter three, I want to deal with two issues today and we're going to pray. James chapter three, verse 10 states the following out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing my brethren i want you to see this he's talking to christians you know we sit down and think that somebody curses somebody is always an unsafe person we've got this perception that if somebody's going to curse you it's somebody really bad i'm telling you right now christians curse each other i need you to understand this it's really important now how do I define a curse? It's actually very simple. The minute I say something that lines up with the, the demonic strategy or demonic plan, the minute I sit down and I say, listen, I'm going to do this, and I line up, I speak negative, I speak death, and I do whatever the devil wants. Remember, the devil comes to do three things. Kill, steal, to destroy. If I have my words lined up in any of those three, I am going to be lining up with the devil's strategy. That, that is what we call a demonic agreement. As much as we stand to and we'll agree upon something on the good, you can stand on the negative. And so many of us as Christians, we align ourselves up with a negative report. We line ourselves up with the agenda that Satan has to destroy this nation. So many of us have caught ourselves busy permanently speaking negative about the situation against the government, against the leaders, whatever it is. We need to be careful because we are actually cursing our nation. If we sit down and say our nation's not going to work, our nation's no good, I'm telling you right now, you are going to get what you say. And so I want you to know that God is expecting us do not operate the same way that the devil does. All right. He's expecting us to bring blessing in place of curse. How do I speak blessing? I start lighting myself up with the word of God. Now, what does the word of God say? The word of God says that there is a blessing in store for those who serve God. You can change the entire atmosphere of this nation if you are a Christian and release life and speak blessing. Let me explain another scripture to you. We'll combine it now. In John chapter 1 verse 5, it says this, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. In other words, wherever light comes, darkness has to flee. Here comes the issue. Are you releasing life or and light, or are you releasing death and darkness? As long as you release life, it automatically starts restricting the demonic. Satan and, and his cohorts cannot stay where the blessing of the Lord is being released. Because when you release the word of God, release the blessing, angels are going forth to go and perform the miracle. Remember, you're not fighting the principalities. The, the Holy Spirit is sending the angels out. The Holy Spirit and the angels are busy on this earth. And so you need to know that as you release the word, angels are, are mobilized to fight for you, changing the atmosphere, restricting the plan, restricting the purpose over our nation. 
And so this morning, we are going to pray over this nation. Number one, we are going to repent for releasing curses of our nation as the church. I want to make a statement. A very large portion of what's going on in our nation is directly aligned or assigned to the church. But why? Because we have cursed this nation. We have spoken negative over this nation. We have done things that are ungodly over this nation. We are Christians, but as soon as you do it, you have power, you have authority. And if you use that authority in the wrong way, it's still going to operate. And so firstly, we need to repent and say, God, please forgive me where I have cursed our nation. Then secondly, what we're going to do is in the light, we are going to release and declare light and blessing and favor over this nation. And we're going to turn the atmosphere over your area. And wherever you are, you're going to start seeing things start lightening up. And even though it should be a gloomy, heavy week, it's going to end up lighter and you are going to help us because as the, every Christian does this, it starts changing the atmosphere in Jesus' name. And we need to change this atmosphere. We need to change the agenda that Satan has over this nation in Jesus' name. And so we are not going to just go down the negative road. We are going to speak life, we are going to speak blessing, and we're going to release the power of God this morning in Jesus' name. Remember the Bible says that you are light. You are the light. You need to be the one standing up and releasing and declaring what needs to happen. We as Christians carry the highest authority and we need to be careful what we say because it actually takes hold and things start happening according to what you have said. So let's pray together. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you are in control of our nation. Lord, we ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus to forgive us, Lord, each one of us, where we have cursed our nation, cursed our businesses, and cursed our families in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you right now to forgive us of every negative word that we have spoken against our society in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. And Lord, we ask you to forgive us of every negative word that we have spoken, where we have cursed anything around our nation. Lord, where we have stood in agreement with the demonic and come into demonic agreements and agreed with the devil over our nation. Lord, we thank you that today it changes. And so right now, thank you, Lord, that we are forgiven. But as the body of Christ, Lord, we pick up our authority. We stand in the authority that has been given us in Jesus' name. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak over our society, over our family, over our suburb, over our nation. And we speak life, we speak blessing, we speak prosperity, and we say, South Africa, you are blessed. You will prosper. Lord, we thank you that the atmospheres over every household is light, over every business is light. Lord, we bind every single demonic agreement. We come against every demonic agreement, every single curse, every concentration, every thought, every incantation that has been placed against this nation in Jesus' name. We bind it, we restrict its works in Jesus' name, and we cut off that assignment. Lord, we release the power of God. We thank you that from today everything shifts. Lord, that from today, as believers start speaking life over this nation, we will see the blessing and the power of God being made manifest. Lord, we pray for energy over every Christian. Lord, that they would be able to watch what they say. Lord, I pray that you're going to just give them the strength that they don't utter negative words and end up declaring a negative and death over our nation in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for the power of God that is moving. And as we stand in agreement, Lord, your word says, we two or more agree upon anything on this earth, it shall be done. Lord, we stand in agreement and we release the blessing of God and the peace of God over our nation. We thank you, Lord, that as we stand together, we are going to see a major shift and a major move of your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.